So welcome back to this new episode, Coach. And today we're going to be talking about how to uh, design and how to run a summer soccer training program for players in your area. Now, something that I get asked on a regular basis, especially when we're getting close to the summer summer season, is how do I run a camp or how do I run a clinic? So this video will hopefully help you. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is not so much specifically towards running a camp or a clinic, but it's more just to run a specific training program. Okay. It, in some ways, you can define it as a camp or a clinic, but it's going to be a program that you can run for multiple ages, uh, players of different abilities, and it's something for them to do during the summer when they're away from school and when they're away from their club team. As most of you know, the summer is a period where most kids are off school and also most kids are away from their club environment. So there's a lot of free time for parents and kids to get that supplemental training from you. So creating a summer training program is a fantastic way not to he just help players in your area to get better, but also it's a, it's a great way to e add an extra service, generate an extra bit of revenue, and to grow and scale your business to the next level, taking full advantage of the summer season. So the first one is when you want to start a summer uh, training program, you've got to define the goal of the program. So you can't just be a, a program which is, right, come with us, train, and then that's it, okay? So essentially, what is your offer? What is it that you're offering to parents that separates you from any other competitor in your local area? What do you guys do differently? What do you guys help players with? How do you make players better? What's the structure of the program? What are parents paying for when they sign up? Now, the second one is scheduling training sessions and finding a location. So during the summer, um, it's probably one of the most busiest times of the year in terms of facility use. Okay, most uh, coaching companies, most clubs, most organizations that work with kids are running camps. Okay, so something you need to do is you need to get well ahead of the game and make sure you have a location and you have a structure to your training session. Okay, so what I mean by structure is making sure you're, you're already, you've already planned out your, your training program way in advance. So if you're going to run a six-week program, if you're going to run an eight-week program, if you're going to run a 12-week program, making sure that now, at this time of the year, you've already got that in place. These are This is the set day, set time that our training sessions are going to be. Uh, and making sure that you lock in a location, whether it be a park or a private uh, facility, to run your program. Now, the third one is market and promote your training program. So marketing and promoting your program means getting in front of the right audience. So how are you going to promote this program to the parents and players that you want to attract to come and train with you? So what platforms are you going to use to be able to attract your target audience? So are you going to be using Facebook? Are you going to be using Instagram? Are you going to be using email marketing? Are, is this going to be more word of mouth? Is this going to be in-person promoting? Okay, so what is it that you're going to do to market and promote your summer program? Now, again, when I talk about finding a location for your training facility, for your training program, it's also really important that you start to structure out a good uh, marketing campaign in the lead up to the program. So that you're marketing it way in advance and you're giving people and parents an opportunity to see what your offer is. Okay. A lot of coaches, what they do is when it gets to the summer, they want to run a summer camp and they will run it, but they'll only give themselves maybe one or two weeks in advance to market and promote. 
And essentially what happens is they don't get to the numbers that they wanted to get to. Now, the fourth one is focus on player development. So essentially your training program is a training program. Okay, it's an opportunity for players to get better, to get extra coaching and to develop under your guidance and your, your service. So focusing on player development essentially means what can you do or what can you offer that will help those players that attend your training program to get better for their club teams. Okay, so they want to essentially come to your program because your training is something that can supplement their club training. Okay, so what can you offer that is focused on player development, is focusing on a specific area of the game that's going to help that type of player to get better when they go back to training with their team. And then the fifth one is player evaluation reports. Okay, so having a, an evaluation report, I feel, separates you from most camps or clinics that are running in the summer. So when players finish your training program, they can have something that they can take away and look at and read and then implement into their season. So essentially, when you finish your six week, eight week or 12 week summer training program, give those players that attended your, 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 your program a report that they can take home and look at and implement certain things that they've learned throughout your training program. Okay, so it could be four very simple bullet points, giving them information on certain things that they can get better on uh, once they get to their, their club teams. 